what's going on guys welcome back to the channel you guys have been asking for a lot more cooking videos and i'm back with a quick and easy steak video that you guys can do at home with no barbecue and just a pan quickly before we get into the actual video i want to show you guys how i usually cook my steaks when there's other people around or i'm cooking for a party or barbecue and i like to cook my steaks like you see here like a medium rare and sometimes even to a medium depending on the mood of the people or like what they typically want but for me what I prefer is a rare steak and it took me a while to acquire the taste for a rare steak but I make sure I get high quality meats and it's just what I prefer. So doing this cooking video I don't want to waste a steak and not cook it the way I would like it but I'll still give you guys the cooking times on how to cook a steak to your liking. So when cooking steaks I think the biggest thing that people do is over season. People always ask me what I season my steaks with and it's very simple. I only stick with three things salt, pepper, and olive oil. When actually seasoning my steak I like to put a liberal amount of salt on top of the steak and pepper. I make sure I spread it around, make an even coat. And for me, I like to season it just a little bit more than you usually would, just because of the fact that when you do put it in the pan, you will lose a lot of seasonings once it hits the hot oil and for moving around the steak. Biggest thing is make sure you season both sides evenly and also season the sides as well. There's a lot of good flavors, a lot of fat on the side, and you don't want to be eating a steak that's under seasoned. And there you have it. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Let me know if there's any other videos that just kidding guys, now that you have the steaks ready, it's time to get the pan hot enough to sear the steaks. So whether you're working with a gas oven or electric oven, the biggest thing is making sure that you get it hot enough and put it on its highest setting. Put the pan on and leave it there for a few minutes until it gets ripping hot. Then add your olive oil and make sure it's spread around evenly around the pan. And just when you see the first wisp of smoke coming up from your pan, that's when you know the pan is hot enough and ready for the steaks. You absolutely want it to get as hot as you can because this is the most important part of it is searing the steak and you want to hear a super loud sizzle right when you drop the steak into the pan just like this. You want it to be super hot because you want the steak to sear and brown and create a Maillard reaction basically caramelizing the outside and creating a crust on your steaks. That's going to bring a lot more flavors. And that's where most people mess up on when cooking a steak is they don't sear it properly and the steak is left somewhat grayish to grayish brown. So for the initial sear, I like to leave the steaks in the pan for two minutes on one side. And once I flip it, I leave it in the pan for another two minutes. I then flip the steaks again one more time for two minutes on that side to really get a good sear. And again, another two minutes on the other side. So I give it two minutes, then I flip it another two minutes and I repeat the process one more time. And as you can see, you can get a beautiful sear just like this method. And from this point on, after I leave it for another two minutes to sear again, my steak is pretty much ready. And this is perfect for me for a rare steak. And if you wanted to cook your steaks a little bit longer to a medium rare or even medium, I would lower the temperature halfway and leave the steaks on an additional minute for medium rare and a minute and a half for medium on both sides. The most important part of cooking a steak comes from the searing process and also the resting of the steak. You want to let the steak rest and I know it's hard looking at the steak. It's a beautiful piece of meat. You do not want to touch it. You want to let the juices reconstitute into the meat and that will lend itself to becoming a juicier piece of meat and also a little bit more tender. If you cut into it right away, all the juices are so hot that it will leak out immediately and it will make your steak not juicy and also it will make it tougher to eat. I would let it rest for about 8 to 10 minutes and then from there you're good to go start digging in if you want to slice it up for presentation purposes go ahead just like i'm doing here and this is the part where most people hate on me and i feel like it's most people that just don't know how to understand steak or don't understand the cooking process they think this steak is raw this steak i would consider rare or even medium rare and honestly medium rare i think is the best way to cook a steak for everyone like i said i like my steaks rare and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're getting a good quality meat from a good source but I also can't tell you guys on how you should be eating your steaks. If you want to cook your steaks burnt to shit, go ahead. If you want to eat your steaks rare, make sure you get a good sear on it, sear the outside. And the biggest thing I like to do when cooking a piece of steak is test it with a spoon. I know it sounds weird, but if you cook any steak properly, even if you cook it past medium rare, a good quality ribeye steak should be able to be cut with a spoon. And as you can see here, the spoon is not sharpened, but it still cuts through it just like my knife does. And yeah, there you have it. I'll be doing a lot more cooking videos soon. For the rest of this video, you guys can just enjoy me eating the steak and watch basically food porn on here. But I'll be doing a lot more videos soon. Let me know what you guys would want to see me do. I do have more steak video coming out and I know that's something that I do a lot of, but I do like steaks. And that's it guys. If you guys do try this out for yourselves, let me know by leaving a comment on my Instagram. Or if you do post a picture, hashtag cooking with Nadeem so I can see it. 
and I will repost the pictures on my next cooking video. And if you like the video, please like it. If you're new to here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.